Hey, Gary. Yep. Why are you bad? I broke my turbo. <laughs> you didn't break your turbo. <laughs> so we just finished up another video on putting left lane diesel, one piece, Y pipe, up pipe, whatever you want to call it, on six liter on this truck real quick. Now Gary has given me the other task of what are we doing now, Gary? Glow plugs. Got to do glow plugs. He's had my truck's hard to start. So first step, jack your truck up in the air. Step two, do what Gary's doing and try to beat your, beat your tires off with a hammer. Isn't that right, Gary? Yep. But remove your tire and then we're going to get into showing you the next step. All right, once you get your tire removed, you want to take the inner fender wheel out. All these little ones are right there. Right there, right here, those are seven thirty seconds. You got eight millimeter here, you got eight millimeter here, here, and that's it. And then you gotta take these three tens off right here, and then you can pull your inner fender wheel out. What are you doing? Just pull it with your hand. Be a man, Gary. Oh, you want to do things the hard way. Well, I lied. Those aren't tens at the top. They're twelve. They're not twelve. Blocking the camera with your big giant melon head. Hmm. You get over here. Yeah, you're good. Way over there. What's all that up there? Right there. Well, it's supposed to be a bunch of foam shit that goes right here and it don't it ain't there no more. There, is that better? Look how easy we could have got to the other pipe bolt. That's what I said. I know I, I told you so. <laughs> right there. Alright, we're gonna get us some light in here. Alright, I got y'all right in here now. We got this cool tool here from Pro Source Diesel. This is for removing your glow plug harness. No, you don't have to have this. It's not the end of the world if you don't. You can use a crow's foot or whatever. But this tool is pretty handy because I'll do this one right here. Maybe y'all can see it better. It fits right in that groove on there. And you just trying to keep my hand out of the way. Give it a pull like that. And it pulls that right out what if it don't break any of them well if you don't break any of them that's great if you do break one now if we break one we'll get to that and show you i actually have another video on doing the driver's side that shows you some breaking and uh usually it'll break right here right down the well you just take you a screw and screw you a screw down in there and then you can take you a pair of uh vice grips or needle nose or whatever and use them to pry and pry it out that way if we break one I'll show you. If not, go check out my other video on it. This tool doesn't exactly fit in some of these spots. This is the one I worry about breaking because the tool won't really fit in here. But it works. Just I mean, like we don't break the harness. Well, you bought a new harness. I'll just replace it anyway. Okay. You gonna send it back? I'm just asking you. Get all mad I'm not getting mad. Question. But I mean, when I ask a question, you get mad. I mean, I don't understand what you want me to do. What do you want me to do?
Can you hold the light? Maybe I can. That'll work. Let me know I ain't got a view here. So you gotta let the truck back down to get the harness on. Get on point. That is a very handy tool to have. So now your harness is off. I'm gonna show y'all pulling the glow plugs here in a second. All right, 10 millimeter deep for getting your glow plug out. You can probably, I don't know if you can see it, the tip is just right there. You need the glow plug now or you just gonna take them all out? I'm gonna get them all out first. Well, I guess we can go and put them in one at a time, that's fine. Nah, give me a glow plug. We'll get them all in snug and then we'll torque them all together at the same time. Oh, there it is. Drop it on the floor. Now, the only other thing you have to worry about if you go forever and ever and don't change your glow plugs for a long time is this tip will eventually swell. That's more of a 7.3 problem. It can happen on a 6 liter, but if this tip swells, you'll go to back that plug out and it'll end up getting stuck or you'll snap this tip off and then you have the fun joy of pulling the head just because you snapped the tip of a glow plug off down in there. So when you pull your glow plugs out, do make sure that the tip is hole on it. Also make sure you run the, the right glow plugs. Uh, give me that bag real quick, show me part number. Here's the old glow plug. Like I said, make sure Get it to focus. Make sure it's whole. Make sure the tip looks good on it so you don't have anything to worry about. Here's your part number from Ford for your new glow plugs. New glow plug going in. Hand thread these in. Don't do something stupid and run them in with even a hand ratchet. Do them with a socket like this. Make sure they're right. We're just gonna snug these up, get the new ones in one at a time, snugged up like this, and we're gonna go back and torque them. And we'll go over our torque spec then. So I'm gonna time lapse y'all now and uh, pull the rest of these out, and then we'll put it back on regular when uh, we torque them. All right, our glow plugs are all in. They're snugged up by hand. Now it's time to torque. 168 inch pounds or 14 foot pounds using my Tecton quarter inch, inch pound wrench here. So I'm doing 168 inch pounds. Sometimes it's a little fun fitting this in here. There we go. That one. Next one, we gotta get a little bit creative on getting it in there. I'm a believer in torquing stuff, though. All right. about to go down. All right, front one. All right, they're all torqued. All right, Gary did buy new harnesses for his truck here. But these are not crusty at all. Those of you that have done glow plugs before know how these get crusty and they will break easy a lot of times. And like I mentioned earlier, if you break one, you're wondering how to get it out, go check out my other uh, glow plug uh, video that's on the driver's side, doing the driver's side. So we're just gonna put these back in here and roll with it. 
It's, I mean, the O-rings aren't even stiff on these. Put back in there just fine. How do you feel about it, Gary? It feels fantastic. Almost like I stole something. Except you still pay for the harness. All right, and your glow plugs are done on your passenger side. That easy. We're going to throw the inner fender wall back in, and this will be done. So once you're done, crack you a bush latte and congratulate yourself on doing your glow plugs, saving yourself a lot of money. And while you're at it, what you can do. Get you some There's, racing slicks. Well, you can get you some racing slicks and make fun of your friend who's putting glow plugs in his truck, but is running on these tires right here. What the hell is even that? I mean, holy crap, Gary. <laughs> You're putting everybody at risk on the road. That's right. And this is a display of brute University of Memphis strength right here. Look at him. Look at him go, folks. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this will help you out on doing your glow plugs yourself, save you some money. If you don't want to do it yourself and you're in the West Tennessee area, go to our website, check out automaticgarage.com. Give us a call, hit us up on email, whatever. We'd be glad to help you out here at the shop. Uh, go check out our channel. Lots of power struck content, 7360s, 6.7s. Uh, we even got some old school diesel stuff too and lots of other forward content. Um, anyways, it's Automatic Garage signing out. We'll holler at y'all later.